I want to welcome everybody back to the channel today. We've got a few things we're going to cover today. We've got a little project we're going to do, but we've got some things we need to talk about that could slow down the videos just temporarily, and I'll explain that a little bit better here in just a few minutes. So stick with me, okay? Well, thank you everybody for tuning back in. If you haven't had the opportunity, hit that like and subscribe. I'm Dwight with 3D Farming. Um, we try to do produce some videos out here that have to do with the farm, but there's a lot of good content that we're trying to put out. We're going to be looking for another tractor. I do a little bit of reviews on this LS MT573 that I have here that I'm standing next to, and that's what the channel's about. And we're doing an honest review on the LS MT573. Now, I have to give you some full disclosure of what's going on today. I'm kind of you haven't like i said if you haven't subscribed take the time out and subscribe to our channel we appreciate it look um i had a pretty pretty major injury happen a few weeks back and i ended up in the hospital with surgery and and so forth i broke a knee now and i'm not asking anybody to feel sorry for me that i'm not doing uh what's uh, what i'm saying is all i'm asking is, is as a as you as a subscriber just be patient with us we're going to try to get some more content out pretty quick but it slowed me down quite a bit. And I'm just now able to just walk out to the tractor and start to shoot this video right here. We have some things that we need to do today though, and I'm, I can't sit still very long. I try and uh, it just doesn't work for me. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna change, we're gonna, we're gonna work on uh, some things that I can work on, sitting down in a place where I can get these jobs done. And I have a bell monitor that's too big to fit in the tractor. We're going to take this bell monitor and we're going to put it in this box. Now, how am I going to do that? It's, this is like one third or less the size of this bell monitor. This weighs ounces. This weighs pounds. So this is a big deal. And then we're going to be able to take this and we're going to be able to build, we're going to be able to mount this up here nice and easily. We'll probably put it on something like a ram mount and i'll show you that and that's what we're going to do now here's the issue full disclosure i've already opened up the bell monitor i made sure that all the parts in there will fit into this box and not only will they fit but i have more room so they they, they use this huge metal <laughs> monitor for this baler with a few wires and lights and a, on and off switch and that's really it. There's no board in it, anything. So I'm going to show that to you. So the goal today is to take everything that's in this box and put it in this box. You can see there's a huge difference in the two sizes of the box. Now, I've got to be very careful. I only have four small lights to do, plus a, a one round light, the power light, and then there's a bell alarm on here. And then there's two plugs there on the side of the spot. Let me, let me open this up and show you what this looks like on the inside and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is what's in the box. The largest item I have in here is the on and off switch. It's a big old switch that sits back up in here. There is, it is fused. The rest of the stuff is just some lights. And I do have the buzzer here that I have to cut a hole for. That's gonna be probably the next biggest thing that's in here. This big old box had this in it. It's nice to have this big steel box in a way. If I was putting it on the fender of the tractor, on an open station tractor or something like that, I probably wouldn't do what I'm doing here. I would probably just leave it alone. But, I, but that's not what's going on. It's going in the cab of my tractor and I want it to be much smaller, much lighter and not take up so much real estate in the tractor. Now here's, this is, this is going to be key that I get all this correct, this all this right. So the first things first is that I need to make sure I have room for this switch here, which is the on and off switch. So if I'm just going to throw went, randomly throw a switch in here, I could end up with a problem. So I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the switch in somewhere in here and the lights will go on each side of this switch. That way, this is not in the way of those switches. This, this has to have room though. There has to be plenty of wire so that this, these two plugs, make it 
over to the side where they have to be. So that's all going to work out just fine. Then I have the buzzer to deal with. In my case, the buzzer is going to go on the bottom. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put the buzzer in like this. I don't mess with the buzzer. I usually keep it closed all the way. as has this, has this deal on it to close it. The buzzer is loud, obnoxious, and so forth. Let's get this, let's start getting this stuff to put together real quick. The first thing I'm going to do is figure out where center is on this. And I'm going to see how far back I can put this without it interfering with anything. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in first. All right, I want to get you in here one more time, show you what's going on. A lot of it's just been hole drilling, so I didn't... So I didn't want to bore you with all that. This is the beeper. It's in the bottom of it. Switches on the side. Plugs are on the other side. Power button on top. All that's inside of here now. And you can see it fits. It fits. You can see it fits pretty well. So there's not. A, there's no issues with the way this fits. The rest of it is going to be in the lid, and that's where all the all, all your lights are going to go. There's only four lights, so you know I'm only going to have four lights sitting here. So, you know, there's not much to get in the way there. We'll put, put them probably right here and right here. But that's it. That's, that's what it's going to be. We'll bring you back in as before we cut these holes. I have to mark this out. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But I'm going to mark my holes where my lights are going to go and then cut that out. This is going to be the most tedious part because these lights are rectangle. Uh, you know, cutting, cutting some holes you know round holes with a drill is no big deal but cutting square holes or rectangle holes a little bit more tricky all right so let me get let me get that started i'm going to mark all this up and then we'll bring you back in later to show you what that looks like this is another day i had to come back to this um i can only be up so long and then i have to go go get down for a little while but anyways i've kind of already started this and this is the front um, I have four lights that go on the front and that's it because what I've done is I, this used to have a power light that went on the, on the front as well. Here's the power light. It also had the, the beeper, which was on the front as well. I put it on the bottom so it's out of the way. I can close it. It's, a, it's obnoxious to start with. So I got rid of that, but it's down on the bottom. I may have to put some tape over it or something to make it be quiet a little bit. Power switch is on the side and that's what that is. And then my my connections are on the side as well, on the other side. Now, this is going to sit in the tractor beside me like this. My connections will come out this direction and go toward where they need to go. So that's that's really what's going on. Now, I know I'm not going to give you all all the details of everything, all the, all the details of what's going on. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut these squares out. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cut them all out without, you know, off camera. And then we'll show you what the final product looks like. So the first thing I want to do is I just take a, I have a Dremel with a, a flex cord on it and by the way that flex cord is awesome it's better than holding the whole dremel and and i've drilled four holes into the corners is what i did and I, after drilling the four holes in the corner uh, i'm coming back and and then i'm drilling holes down down these edges i'm basically drilling holes across here like this now i did drill a, a bigger hole in the center but that's neither here nor there it doesn't matter if you do that or not and then i'm drilling all across and then I'm going to take and smooth this out. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. So, like I said, I've already drilled my four holes in the corner. Now I'm just drilling holes beside each hole. Now if you're worried about getting off, what you can do is you can take something like this. You can set it, set it across here on your line and that way you don't really get off that bad and that way you can just set it to set the drill bit kind of up against it and that's an example when it's not tight enough and put this put this straight edge right up against it again Make your hole smaller than what you need, just a little bit smaller because I'm going to show you why. Now, here's the deal. I'm pulling the tape off now. And the reason I'm pulling the tape off is that way you can, two things, you can see what's kind of going on here 
and you can see that this is this is you know you can see that this is a little bit rough and it's not pretty and and that's that's okay there's no there's nothing wrong with that i'm also going to lay this in here and you can see this doesn't even fit not yet but it will see then i'm just going to take a file a regular old file and i'm going to clean this up that looks pretty good i'm happy with it it's about as good as it's going to get i'm not it's not perfect but it's about as good as it's going to get so these two lights in i'm going to cut these two lights out and we'll show you the final product when it's done we'll bring you back in all right lights are in this is a these two lights here on the top this one here is a drive left this one's a drive right it's basically to pack the right side of the bell and the left side of the bell this is a uh, twine this blinks when the twine is rolling and going and this is telling me my gates closed is what this one is it's my power light my on off switch my connectors and my buzzer for when the lane when the bell is full everything fits in the in the box as you can see it fits nice and tight the box closes nice and easy nothing's hitting inside and that's exactly what i was trying to accomplish this is a lot better than what i had before weighs not even I don't even know if it weighs a quarter of what that box weighed. It just weighs a whole lot less. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. All right, let me go get the let me go get the other parts that I need to put this together with. Let's see what I have. But basically, this is it. I've mounted a what looks like a ram mount. Looks it, it's not an actual ram mount. I bought this off of Amazon. It was much much cheaper than ram mounts. It's it's made out of aluminum and. Uh, it's pretty decent, actually. I'm pretty impressed with it. I hope it stays tight. If it doesn't, if you have these and you're, you have a problem with them loosening up, put a little blue Loctite on them, and that'll take care of that. But other than that, here it is. Uh, I think it's going to work. All I got to do is put it in the tractor to see what it looks like, put some labels on it, and we're done. All right, so we got it in the tractor. You know, it's not perfect, but it looks a whole lot better than uh, that big old box would have looked. So if you take a look right here, here's the box. This is all there is to it now. Remember, remember, here's the box that I don't have a clue how I would have mounted this in this cab. I believe this box was meant for, you know, probably a fender on an open station tractor. But this is a lot better right here. This is not that big now. It's mounted with a, what I use, I use a, a style of, I use a style of rim, uh, a ram mount. It's not a ram mount. It's, it's just a, not hard, it's just a, uh, it's just a mount that I got off of, of Amazon. Uh, it mounts, it's tight. It's not going anywhere. It may bounce a little bit in the tractor like this, but that's going to be it. For the most part, it's not going anywhere at all. Make sure my power is working. So I have my power light here. I don't have anything, I don't have a baler hooked up. The baler's actually right there. But I don't have the baler hooked up right now, so I can't test everything. To make sure it's all working like it's supposed to, but I don't see why it's not. Basically all I did was, was unplug everything that was, you know, uh, it, I, I marked all the wires, I unplugged it, I installed it in this box. This thing, I think this is gonna work out fine for what I need. I didn't go out and buy a $40,000 baler just to get a new box. I just put a box in made this box work I like it it's much better than what it was so the videos are going to come out a little bit slower than what I would like for them to so be patient with me and we'll get these videos out as quickly as possible uh, I've got some healing time though I've got it I've got to go through um, I need to have surgery now I am just trying to heal up from that look I appreciate every one of you until next time though thanks